our strength is in our faith. And if our faith is eaten away by little things that God hates, then though there be a million of us, we shall be beaten back and die. Yes, come near. And you men too, and those who cannot hear, give them this message. We can win only if we become God's army. It is not easy to stand here before you and ask this of you. Perhaps it will not be easy to do, but I know that if these things are done, then though the English hang from the clouds and ride on the whirlwind, we shall beat them. Though the arrows fall like hail from the sky and the fierce be a ring of steel, and the cannon speak and strike like the thunderstones from heaven, yet they shall be ours. Greetings, Dunois. Greetings, my lord. You are most heartily welcome, my friends. The more so since you bring the maid with you. If that is the city of Orléans, why did you command us to approach by this side of the river? We should have ridden up boldly where the English are strongest. Then you are on the right side of the river, Maid. You see those towers? That's the Tourell, the strongest English fort. If we take it, the other forts will crumble. Who commands at the Tourell? Sir William Glasdale. He's the pick of the English captains. I've fought him many times. I'm commanded to warn this Englishman to give up the fort and to save his life and the lives of his men. Take me to him. This is the hour. Now is the time. In God's name, strike! Strike boldly! <laughs> 